Hello, everybody. Welcome. After the break, uh, we've got um, two parallel sessions again. In the other room, uh, there is a session on education, education and partnerships. But I'm glad that you chose this room, uh, that you chose the GLAM session. Uh, and Gorana Gomirats will be uh, presenting uh, a session on uh, Wikipedia in residence in the battle for cultural heritage. The, the title itself makes me interested. <laughs> and I'm all that much more interested to hear what Gorana uh, has to tell us and has to show to us. Uh, Gorana, the floor is yours. You've got 45 minutes. Thank you very much. And you made me nervous because you introduced me so well. <laughs> Uh, hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to this session. Uh, my name is Gorana Gomirat, and I'm GLAM manager at Wikimedia Serbia. It is really great pleasure to be here today, and thank you for organizing this e meeting this year, because I know it is online, but it is really good to hear all of you and to see you. So I can, uh, for first, I will uh, send you a link of uh, Wikipedia in Residence at Serbia from Meta. So it is translated to English and if is anyone interested in um, looking uh, more detailed into our project and our results, please do so. And if you have any question about this session, don't hesitate and that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, I will share a screen right now, just a second. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Great, let's go. <laughs> so for today, um, I have prepared uh, several topics uh, of which of course focus will be on the Wikipedia in Residence project, but we will talk about Wikimedia Serbia also, its development and where it is today. Also the GLAM program, which I coordinate and our most important activities of GLAM and what I really encounter every day at my job. And as I said, the focus will be on the Wikipedia in Residence as it is like the heart of a GLAM, at least in Wikimedia Serbia. And of course, I will give you some tips and tricks that we have learned during the years and that helped us really um, achieve really great results and that we um, really get the best of the every opportunities that encounter. So our first topic for today is Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, we'll talk about when it was created, how it developed, where it is today, and like how the conditions for the realization of projects such as Wikipedia in Residence were created because uh, Wikipedia in Residence is not just so easy project and it um, demands a pretty lot of work and uh, it will be interesting to know. <laughs> so hello, this is us with our really wonderful volunteers uh, without whom we would not be where we are today and what we are today. So um, this is a briefly timeline of Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, we were founded in 2005 and going strong since 2005. Our first office was in 2012. We are located in Belgrade, Serbia. And we went through a relatively long period of like development, various attempts, projects, team members, until we came to this formula <laughs> that we are using today. And at this moment, our team uh, consists of six board members, uh, four employees, and of course, many volunteers. But it may sound like a cliche, but we really care about healthy relationship between us and healthy communication. And we are such a great team. And I think that because of that, we achieve this set of goals and missions over the time. So let's not get too emotional. <laughs> Within Wikimedia Serbia, there are three programs, uh, educational program, GLAM and community support. So my colleagues are in charge of the ADU and community support. They are also uh, doing sessions on CE meetings. So please uh, watch their session and uh, it will be amazing. 
and it is my honor to lead the GLAM program of Wikimedia Serbia. And let's GLAM it. So, officially, the GLAM program of Wikimedia Serbia started with the Open GLAM conference in February 2012. So in this way, the cooperation with um, cultural institution uh, and institutions of importance for culture began to take a place within the separate program. So we could um, like focus on these activities. We could develop these activities. We could develop cooperations. So the mission of GLAM as well as the entire wiki world is free knowledge. So through this cooperation with cultural institutions, we uh, really do uh, various activities with the aim of increasing digital cultural heritage, but also we are increasing the quality of it. So we are not doing just quantity, for example, like let's post on Wikimedia Commons or Wikipedia everything we can. No, we are also trying to bring uh, as quality content as we can. Also, we are uh, doing some workshops that are um, uh, making like uh, employees of cultural institutions uh, able to uh, independently work on wiki projects. And also we have uh, support from Ministry of Culture and Information of Republic of Serbia for a couple of years now. And how do we actually do that? So we have uh, uh, various models of cooperation here that have been like tested for years. And as you can see, there are edited dance, digitization, content release, Wikipedia in residence, and Curepedia QR codes. So these are pretty different types of cooperations and activities. And I have to say that we adapt uh, to the cultural institution individually. So we have uh, that personalized uh, approach to every cultural institution. And we can, and we do organize several models of cooperations with them, depending on the current opportunities, current possibilities, their needs, their will to uh, do something on wiki project. So we really have that personalized approach and First, we are organizing several meetings just to hear their needs because we are here to help and we are here to do amazing things together. So during these soon to be 10 years, the existence of the GLAM program, uh, we have really achieved and overcome like many challenges, uh, achieved many successes, of course, but we are just trying to be an example of the digitization of cultural heritage, at least here in Serbia, because we were like one of the pioneers here that were um, <laughs> wanted to do something about digitalization of cultural heritage in this country. So there are many examples we are really so proud of, such as almost 11,000 digital uh, now it is over 11,000 digital files, over 1,000 books, uh, 3,000 written and the approved articles on Wikipedia. Uh, so we have made over 50 cooperations with uh, various cultural institutions. And of course, um, I think the most important uh, thing is strong bond that we have uh, achieved with the community. So by this bond, we, we have really um, continuity in activities and uh, we are achieving really great results. Also, I have to say that we have established cooperation with many museums, archives, libraries, and galleries like the GLAM institutions. But besides that, we are achieving cooperation with other types of cultural institutions that are important for culture, for example, botanical garden, uh, cultural centers, media houses, uh, association of artists, and like many others that will uh, develop and our cultural heritage, our digital cultural heritage. And after this uh, uh, briefly introduction, um, and story of development of Wikimedia Serbia and GLAM. Uh, I think it was really important to talk about that because the uh, realization of Wikipedia in residence would not be possible without GLAM and Wikipedia, uh, Wikimedia Serbia. 
uh, we finally came to the main topic of this session, and that is Wikipedia in residence. So uh, let's meet our Wikipedians in residence. This is only one group of them, so we have many of them. And unfortunately, I'm really eager to make a photo with them all and to like uh, meet them in uh, one place. But unfortunately, because of COVID-19 situation, that was not really possible from the past two years. So uh, as you probably know, the Wikipedia in residence is a uh, a project. Um, so it is a part of a global program of cooperation with the glam cultural institutions. So galleries, li libraries, archives, and museums. And it has been really implemented worldwide uh, for many years now. Uh, we um, are realizing uh, Wikipedia in residence since 2014. So the idea of this project is uh, in two-way cooperation with cultural institutions, which are assigned an experienced Wikipedia editor or experienced wiki editor for a certain period of time. So we had like a one month long uh, Wikipedia in residence, but we also had six months long project, which was really amazing. So they are working on increasing the content of wiki projects in the field of cultural and historical heritage. So actually the goal of Wikipedia in residence is to help the institution in digitizing the materials that would then be on Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and Wikisource to educate employees to edit Wikipedia and other wiki projects to help them write articles about the institution and numerous uh, and to digitize numerous materials under their um, like what they have and so they can really be able to uh, edit wiki projects by themselves after the project is done so what are the responsibilities of Wikipedia in residence. What is he actually doing all day and how we could help a uh, cultural institution by organizing this project in their uh, institution. So first he uh, digitized various materials that could be books, photographs, postcards, documents, like really anything that is important. And sometimes cultural institutions really don't have resources to do digitization by themselves. So um, we are making really great step in the digitization. And sometimes we are making that first important step. We motivate them to do that. So I think it is really, really important what are we doing in this project. Then, of course, we upload that digitized material to Wikimedia Commons, Wikisource, and other relevant wiki projects. Uh, they are also working on increasing the content of Wikipedia according to some agreed topics and like the available literature in the institution. Um, we are organizing and uh, holding workshops on editing Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons. We are also involving Wikidata step by step in this project. Our last two Wikipedians, Wikimedia, Wikipedians in residence projects are also um, doing some work on Wikidata. So it is really huge step for us. Um, Wikipedia in residence is working with employees and his, they are helping them to understand uh, Wikimedia projects. They are helping them to understand how important um, really the digitization is. Because for example, Serbia was closed last year for a couple of months. Like nothing worked except shops and pharmacies. So uh, I think at that point, people realized and people were like, oh, we should have some content on the internet online. So we can just encourage people to visit us maybe after this, um, uh, after this is done, after the COVID-19 or like uh, when everything opens. So I think the COVID-19, as long as awful it is, uh, it helped them um, see how important digitization is. Uh, also, Wikipedia in residence, like meditates uh, between uh, Wikimedia Serbia and the cultural institutions. So uh, Wikipedia in residence really hears their need. 
uh, they're also uh, maintaining link between the uh, Wikimedia Serbia and the cultural institution. And they're really making suggestion for a new model of cooperation. And like they are sometimes threatening the old ones. So they are really hearing their needs. And like we from Wikimedia Serbia don't know we can't know really their needs as good as Wikipedia in residence because we are not working there and we are not there eight hours a day. So we cannot know that. But Wikipedia in residence knows. And sometimes like um, the project started and at the half of it, Wikipedia in residence reached to us and tell us, okay, maybe we should more focus on digitization of the content than writing articles because that is uh, more they need. So we can change our like focus of the project uh, at the time. So we really uh, do the best of the project. And so these were like specifically li listed activities that Wikipedia in residence deals with during the implementation of this project and during its engagement. But however, we really try to pay um, special attention when choosing the person who will be engaged in this project because they are representing us, they are representing the project and like that person should uh, really be um, a quality Wikipedian in residence. So uh, let's talk a little bit about steps we are taking in making this project successful. So. First step, as I said uh, previous, is a selection of um, cultural institution. So that can be re uh, really challenging. Uh, so to begin with, we choose a potential cultural institution for cooperation. Uh, so this step can be on our initiative. It can be someone's recommendation or like the cultural institution sometimes can be the um, can make that first step and contact for some kind of cooperation. So we uh, see that, for example, Wikipedia in residence is the right uh, way to cooperate with them at that time. And after that, we uh, determine to like level of coverage of topics which we could potentially uh, do with this project, with this co cooperation on wiki project. So if the topics are like already on wiki project, we offer them another type of cooperation that would suit. If they are not, which in many cases, unfortunately happens, I mean, that is good for us, but it is good for like a low level of digital cultural uh, heritage. We present this project to them uh, and we start planning the uh, implementation of it. So uh, when choosing the cultural institution with which we cooperate, we try to be decentralized also and that our activities are not based only in the capital of Serbia, Belgrade, but throughout the whole country. And it is often the case that cultural institutions in the like um, surrounding places or another town that is not the capital of Serbia do not have that like funds and resources or some other like opportunities maybe to uh, independently initiate such activity as a digitization. So our cooperation is um, often a first step in that field. So sometimes um, because they have not dealt with uh, the process of digitization, um, the whole process is a little foreign to them. So it is necessary to make an additional effort to explain the like the advantages that digitalization brings today. And next step, as I uh, said on a previous uh, like slide is a selection of Wikipedia in residence. So this is really important because this person will be engaged for like one or maybe six months or maybe more uh, into like work of uh, culture institution and will be a direct representative of Wikimedia Serbia and like the level of work and commit, uh, commitment they are doing it is directly affects the, uh, the performance and directly affects the cooperation with us. So that person must be really 
reliable, familiar with the, the content of the cultural institution. Uh, they must have ability to communicate uh, while professionally. Uh, they have to understand the importance of the project and like dedicate themselves to the project activities. And when we choose a cultural institution, uh, we uh, always check the if there is a suitable volunteer in the database that we have who would be interested and whose interests correspond to this project. So if we have it, we contact them and continue, of course, negotiation and like uh, arranging the dates and everything. But if we don't, we uh, announce a public call for Wikipedian in residence and like uh, we are getting their resumes and uh, making meetings and everything. So the third step is preparation for the projects. Uh, when we choose uh, both the cultural institution and the uh, Wikipedian residence, we can start to like um, concretize um, activities. So um, like the task of uh, um, like the task of the Wikipedian residence can really depend uh, of the institution that they are. Uh, in so, for example, they have to prepare literature for writing articles. They have to prepare like the metadata for the content for Wikimedia Commons, and like institution, a cultural institution really needs to uh, pick one person that will work direct di directly with the Wikipedia in residence. So, while the Wikipedia in, in residence was given like the task to to get uh, known with the uh, literature, with the content that the cultural institution has in order to make the beginning of the project easier. Uh, he, uh, they are also like uh, preparing a page, a project page on Wikipedia about the project. And if they are not really um, uh, uh, like uh, they, if they don't know how to edit wiki projects, if they, for example, answer to our public call for Wikipedia in residence and they are just really not, um, they haven't edited before. We also are um, like uh, doing some workshops with them and make sure that they are uh, familiar and they know how to edit perfectly before they begin. So of course, during these years of work, we have also created some like manual for Wikipedians in residence uh, in cooperation with the previous Wikipedians in residence. And like we are sharing that manual with them at the beginning of every project. And in this last step, it is let's start step. It is really important to be involved in the project all the time. So when it starts, it is not the end of it. So it is really like the beginning because you have to be really involved with the project all the time to communicate with Wikipedia and residents, to communicate with cultural institutions, to track the progress, to be there as a support and help if some problem occurs. So like anything can happen, uh, we really need to be involved all the time. And uh, these are some tips and tricks for um, that we have learned on a maybe hard way or a pretty way. So we will see. Uh, but we have learned really these tips, tips and tricks uh, that really help us survive and really help us uh, make Wikipedia in residence project su successfully because now we have 31 project realized and like we have learned some things. Okay, so first, first steps are like Wikipedia page. So it is really necessary to keep a precise record of, of everything that is done on the Wikipedia project page. Every article to link the uh, category of Wikimedia uh, Commons to it. So like every article that is written, implemented, illust uh, improved, illustrated. So everything is on that Wikipedia project page that we share with the cultural institution that is also public, of course. And like um, I, ha uh, I have translated the um, 
summary project page of uh, uh, Serbian, uh, Serbian Wikipedia to Meta, but like on Serbian Wikipedia, we have a, a like the um, one page, uh, one uh, article, one pa uh, page on Wikipedia for every Wikipedian in resonance project. So like there, that is perfectly clear for uh, anyone who wants to learn more about this. So um, our uh, practical like advice for future Wikipedians in residence is to really update that page every single day while they are working while, or after work. So they have like that uh, precise, uh, so they remember actually what are they doing. I mean, I know that everything can be seen on Wikipedia and other Wiki projects, but it's really a lot easier to them to fill in that page every single day. So that will also reduce their, their job at the end of the project where some other things should be done. After that, uh, like the Wikipedia in the residence while doing that project, uh, they are selecting the materials for digitization and they are like releasing them together with um, a representative of that institution where the Wikipedia in residence is uh, like performed. So there are some criteria for um, that content to be found on wiki projects and we all know them and it is encyclopedic value and of course useful value on wiki projects. So when are they choosing materials? They have to explain that to um, a, a cultural institution because maybe we know this, but maybe they don't so it is really need to be um, explained and they should always be guided by the question is this really necessary for the encyclopedia and if not what can we do with that so in order for this wikipedia in residence to like go smoothly uh photography and digitization equipment is like a necessary thing we cannot do anything <laughs> really with, uh, without that so before we start the process of digitization, uh, Wikipedia in residence should get really um, acquainted with the materials that will be scanned. So they are consulting with the maybe director or some other employee appointed by the director or other representative of uh, institutional culture for this project uh, about like what has already been digitized if there is anything that has already uh, been done and what it can be um, like donated as a, a content that will be posted under Creative Commons licenses. So now we have that aspect of Creative Commons licenses and yes, we uh, are <laughs> doing the workshops and like doing really um, big place of that workshop is Creative Commons licenses because they are sometimes really not, um, they don't know much about them, unfortunately. So uh, they are, Wikipedia in residence is like exploring the archives and libraries of that institutions. And everything that seems interesting should be like written down on some list. And then uh, they are checking on Wikipedia if there are articles about that topics. And if there are not, uh, they are consulting with the employees or director of that institution about that and like, Shall we do this? It is really important. And just like checking with them about that. Next thing, photographing exhibits in a um, cultural institution is one of the easiest tasks for um, Wikipedia residents. So all they have to do is take camera and take photos of the exhibits. But like, although the, the photographs of Wikimedia Commons should have an educational value, that really does not mean uh, that the aesthetic value of the photograph itself is not important. So uh, we are like uh, educating them to try to find the best angle for photography to just like how to take a good photography of some exhibit. So next thing, when uploading uh, content on Wikimedia Commons, it is really important that those files um, have really well-defined names. And so that increase, of course, their um, visibility and the ability to find that files on, on Wiki, uh, Wikimedia Commons as well on the internet in general. So file names and file descriptions, like um, 
work on the principle of keywords and it is really good to have as many words as possible that are directly related to the scene seen in the photo so metadata are like so important part uh when it comes to to uploading files and wiki project and we are working with the culture institution to uh, like provide us that uh, uh, metadata and like they are providing us a detailed description of the file and like we are just increasing the usability of it with uh that so every photo on Wikimedia Commons, every file on Wikimedia Commons should have at least one category in which it will be placed. We have, of course, special categories for our project, but besides that, that should be related to uh, that thing that is on the photo or the book or anything. So files on the Wikimedia Commons are published under Creative Commons licenses, of course, and these licenses allow the owner of the work to protect this work, but at the same time allow to use that work um, by someone. So many people like are not, uh, not uh, they don't know really what are Creative Commons licenses, so we are doing that like workshop to explain to them what are we'll be doing actually with all the those files. So <laughs> as i said like we can um um we can hold those workshops as a wikimedia serbia but wikipedia in residence is also holding them uh for the employees and like uh they should always ask employees uh to like um, when do you have time are you available on tuesday for example so they really should uh, consult with employees uh about everything because um that uh in the communication between Wikipedia and residents and the police can sometimes occur some problems. And like we are just trying to um avoid that. And that's why we always suggest to like have a really good and healthy conversations with them and just like to uh so they don't see us as a threat because like uh they can think that we are um like Wikipedia in residence project. Uh, will take their job because we are working on digitization it's really a quality project and like but we are not really doing that and we just try to explain to them and like try to be as friendly as possible really so we always consult them to be uh, to have really good conversations and everything and unfortunately due to this uh, epidemiological situation uh, the number of workshops has been reduced because many of Wikipedia in residence are working from home today. They are going to uh, cultural institutions to get material, to digitize it, to bring some literature, but like that uh, work on articles maybe or uploading uh, files on Wikimedia Commons is sometimes done from home because of the really bad epidemiological situation that is in Serbia like for a really long period of time. So we are just trying to be as safe as we can. Okay, and uh, the last thing that is really important are reports. So it is really necessary for every Wikipedia residence to write a report at the end of each week, because I check that report, uh, my board can check that uh, report if they are interested in. So. Uh, they don't have to write it like every detail they uh, are doing no it's it is really enough to write that report in their own words um what is done during uh, that week and what was not and also like just to, uh just for making it easier to check if there is anything okay they should also write some problems maybe if it if it occurs but we always tell them if any problem occurs during the wikipedia in residence just contact us like we are always here for you we are here to uh, 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 just be a support and help and like we are here for you please contact us because it is easier for us to uh, solve that problem at the beginning uh, and uh, problems are there problems in Wikipedia in residence? Of course they are. We uh like we have met with many problems during the realization of this project, but 
they are almost every time solved because like working with people can occur some problems, some misunderstandings and everything, but we are just trying our best to um, solve them. So, for example, it can happen that in cultural institutions, some of the employees, as I said, and even someone from the management, maybe, for some reason, show some animosity uh, towards Wikipedia and residents. So they think, oh, they will uh, take our job. They are just trying to uh, stay here on or everything. So we are just encouraging our Wikipedia residents. So don't let this discourage you, uh, because in this place, you are like... Um, you are engaged in one of the greatest missions in the world and that is like a spreading and sharing free knowledge and people often have an insecure attitude towards new things so we are just advising them be kind uh if necessary explain to them again how much the institution itself gained uh, will gain by by being present on wiki projects so their visibility increase people will know what they have and everything so do your job as professionally as possible and that will be the best indicator of like how good our project is and how quality is everything so just do your job as best as you can and of course we are countering the the remarks by the wikipedia editor so Wikipedia editors who deals with like areas related to topic of the Wikipedia in Residence project may have um, various remarks on their work. And they are, uh, we are just going by that, assume the best intention, because like we are not trying to make problems on Wikipedia, on Wikidata, on Wikicommons. We are just trying to do our best. And if you do have any remark, okay, just tell us, but like, don't attack Wikipedia and residents. And like, we will try to solve that. And like that mistake never happen again. But like, we are just trying to uh, go by the best intention. And we are trying to make that relationship with uh, other Wikipedia uh, editors. And also, um, it is really common uh, for Wikipedia editors to write on like a, um, the, uh, like a user page on like uh, our users or top page of the uh, articles and everything. But we are just trying to be as good with them as we can because we are all doing like the same things. So these are few conclusions because we don't have much time and I will be more than happy to answer some questions so just like prepare and um, preparation and dedication are necessary you have to do that you have to uh, like maybe even uh, invest some more time but you have to prepare really good for meetings problems are okay and just like if there uh, if some problem occurs don't worry about that you can solve them and you just have to listen the needs of the cultural institutions like you have to listen the needs of wikipedia editors but also you have to always support your uh, Wikipedian in residence. Uh, you have all. You have to always uh, check the project, the its progress. You have to um, determine uh, like the causes of it going slower, maybe than planned, and like eliminate that obstacles. Uh, also, be available to Wikipedian in residence and cultural institution every time, the, the, like every day during the project but also after that because sometimes some changes needed to be done or you just you you want to like continue cooperation on anything just keep in touch with the culture institution it is really a great thing because when the project is done we don't really want our a connection to be done too and like the last but the most important advice is to enjoy the realization of this project because so many, so many important things are done in Wikipedia in residence. We are really making uh, the cultural heritage uh, more visible on the internet. Wiki projects are so important today in our everyday life, and it is really important to uh, implement these projects in your uh, like chapters or user groups, and just like do the best you can. It is really, um, it is really a wonderful thing to do, and. Thank you. Uh, 
very much for your attention and I hope that I wasn't talking too much. And please, if you have any question, I will be more than happy to answer it and just like to uh, make something more like clearer. And thank you again. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gorana, for this uh, for this insightful presentation. Uh, we still have five minutes of your session time left, so I'm I'm quite sure that uh, you will be able to to answer the questions uh, via email. Thank you for providing your email, and thank you to Miroslav for providing a few examples uh, in the chat as we as we went. Mm. Uh, since we have a, a few minutes, I'll uh, turn it over to questions, Samad. Hi, thank you. I, my question is that, uh, as you mentioned, the, the best if you can find a, a candidate from the community, the active editor community, but in many cases it is not possible. So if you, if you uh, look for an external person, uh, you need to train this person to be familiar with all the, all the technical and, uh, and legal and policies and guidelines. Um, so what is your experience? How long time do you need or how, how, how does it work how, how, usually? Well, of course, it is easier if we already like have some volunteer that is eager or to be a Wikipedian in residence. But sometimes it is not possible. Maybe uh, we don't have volunteers in some town. Uh, maybe they got a job. Maybe like anything can really happen. But if we uh, make like a public call for Wikipedia in residence and some new person, we had like... Uh, we didn't uh, have a public call this year, for example, but we had a new editor to be at Wikipedia in residence at uh, Museum of Rudnik and Takovo region. And like I, uh, uh, I was his support all the time. Uh, I held him a workshop that lasted for many hours like we were at least four or five hours together and we are just going through wikipedia and wikimedia commons step by step i tried to explain to him like the best i could so we made really detailed workshop after that i sent him a huge email with the all information that we have gone through the that workshop so he always have that email that if something is not really clear to him he can check in that email and even if that doesn't work even if he makes some mistake i am here for them to uh solve that to help him and just to uh to to just to help him to be his support and like i think i started with workshop for example like one month or like four or three weeks before the start of that project so he uh, would have a time to practice to write some articles to just get to know uh the uh like get get to know with wiki projects but also as miroslav said in chat and thank you a lot miroslav for all these additional links and everything uh we are sending them tutorials we are sending them manual uh we are sending them like that um experiences from other wikipedians in residence and we are just trying to make them this project as clear as possible because like it is not possible to always bring our volunteers it is really not and it is really not our point because uh, we want to encourage other people new people to go uh, to like join us to fall in love with wiki and everything so sometimes it is really good to even bring new people and even if you have to uh, like uh, give some time to the workshops and everything it is really worth it because like wikipedia in residence at uh, museum of rudnik and takovo region had amazing results Oh, thank you. Uh, Gorana, there is, a, there is a quick question in the chat uh, from Claudia, who missed the beginning of the presentation, so apologies if this was uh, already addressed. Uh, what, uh, mm -hmm. Within GLAM institutions, with what institutions did you work most or, and or better? Were there museums, libraries, any specific category? Uh, well, we have mostly worked with museums and libraries. 
mostly with like national libraries of like city libraries of mm-hmm. towns for example uh now we have um, uh the uh Wikipedia residence the national library of Pirot. we have we had the uh at Laskovats at like uh, Rudnik Tanko region like we are mostly uh having Wikipedia residence with like that city libraries uh, we call them national libraries and uh, mu- um, sorry museums, but we also have a lot of cooperations with libraries. All right, thank you. So, as Miroslav said, uh, we had a university library, uh, Wikipedia in Residence, three times there, but we also have an amazing product uh, project with them that is called Wiki Librarians. So it is really just like some part of cooperation with them but i i have to repeat we are not just making cooperation with only or with glam institution for example ga- galleries libraries archives and museums we are trying to make a cooperation with every institution that is really important for for culture of our country and the our region really okay thank you very much uh, Gorana for for the for the presentation. Thank you very much, Miroslav, for supplementing uh, more information. Um, thank you for for the people who asked their questions, and I hope you uh, your your questions were answered uh, promptly. I see that you are thanking Gorana for answering them, so it looks fine. Um, it was my pleasure. It was really my pleasure, and thank you all for for coming to this session. And I I'm so happy now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to stop the recording for this session because I'm, I'm closing down this session. Let's take a 10 minute break and then we will come back with, uh, with a session uh, by Claudia and Andrei.